On this episode of Smart Love Life, I'll be focusing on the situationship between Bartise and Nancy from Love is Blind Season 3 because I have unpopular opinion about the couple. If you watched Season 3 of Love is Blind, you would know who Bartise and Nancy are. Bartiz proposed to Nancy in the pods after conversations with other women. The idea of the reality show is self-explanatory. Participants get to date strictly based on a connection that is intellectual and emotional without getting to meet the person they fall in love with until they propose and then the unveiling happens. This is the third season and so far some couples have stayed married. Others have divorced through the seasons. Bartiz and Nancy, however, didn't make it past the altar. Nancy said yes, she would like to spend the rest of her life with Bartiz. But Bartiz said no at the altar. It's a show, so these things happen sometimes. Now, this is not a runaway groom who had dated someone for years and didn't show up at the wedding. Um, day or at the wedding party on love is blind you get to date in the pods building some kind of connection without seeing each other you propose without seeing each other and then you eventually meet your fiance or fiance and then proceed to preparing for a marriage in just a few weeks so definitely many couples will not end up married And it's not just about the physical attraction. It would be about a lot of other things that will unravel whilst getting to know this stranger you are engaged to. You have cameras following them around. So 80% of the time, a lot of things have to be forced or just plain pretentious, sometimes even deceitful. However, I don't think Baptiste was a deceitful person on the show. He has received a lot of hate for not saying yes to Nancy at the altar, but I think he did the right thing. Now, I do not appreciate how society likes to infantilize women. We make women seem very weak when it comes to applying wisdom or just playing good old sense to situations around men. Nancy knew well on time that Bartise wasn't physically into her. He took his time to explain how much he was attracted physically to another woman. That is um, um, Raven. At that point where she realizes he wasn't into her physically, Nancy should have ended the relationship and left the show. But she continued hoping maybe he would miraculously find her attractive. And that is quite pathetic. The reaction to end the charade and leave the show shouldn't be only on the man. The lady, after realizing she isn't his choice on a physical scale, should leave the show. She holds the burden of that action more than the man because he can scale through the entire farce and still say no on D-Day and immediately she becomes a victim. Everyone has bashed Bartiz for leading Nancy on. But did he really, did he really lead her on? He made it clear he wasn't attracted to her. He made it clear that looks matter. He made that very clear. Nancy, however, like most women, decided to ignore the red flags. How in the world was she going to spend the rest of her life with a man who didn't think of her as sexually or physically appealing? Why was she ready to ignore that very important part of the relationship? By job, she was ready to marry a man who didn't think she was his type. Come on! (laughs) We can all pretend that Nancy wasn't all about the physical, but really she was. When Nancy saw SK, she said something around the fact that she was happy she didn't pick him. This is clearly about his looks not appealing to her. We all know Andrew was shady, but she also insisted she didn't want him because she wasn't physically attracted to him. Nancy stuck with Bartiz because she was physically attracted to him, not minding that he wasn't. So Nancy isn't so different from Bartiz. 
She didn't match his physical preference and that hurt her enough to try to diminish Raven in some ways in the conversations she had with um, Batis. And it is pretty strange that no one questioned her for being so desperate that she would try to dim Raven to Batis, hoping it would make him see her, Nancy, as a better option. It is cheap, typical, and shows Nancy needs to work on herself. Now, reality shows um, give the participants an opportunity to be superstars. They grow their social media presence with thousands of new followers and also become brand ambassadors and public personalities. So there are many reasons people would remain on a reality show even when they know for a fact that what they are looking for isn't looking for them or what they want isn't present. They stay for other reasons. Nancy knew in good time that Bartiz wasn't into her. She could have been the one to end the relationship and leave the show, but she stayed for other reasons. I assume she stayed because, one, she really likes Bartiz and was hoping he could eventually love her physically, and two, she probably stayed because of the other benefit of being on the show. Do you know how many millions of people watch Love is Blind? It's a big show. The participants become stars. Now, Batiz, of course, stayed for whatever popularity the show could give him. After he realized he wasn't going to get the girl he wanted because Raven didn't want him at all, <laughs> you know, he stayed for other reasons. And I think it is not so bad a thing to do. Yes, you came to find love from the pods and get engaged and let the world follow your love story. But if you don't find the kind of love you want, it is okay to build some kind of friendship or agreement and take advantage of the platform in front of you. Listen, Bartis could have gone ahead to marry Nancy. That's the truth. He could have gone ahead, married that girl, and milked the opportunities out of the show and still divorce her a year later. I mean, some of the other couples from season two did exactly just that. They managed to stay off the heat on social media because there's always going to be heat waiting to burn you if you don't say I do on the show. And this heat is mainly reserved for the men. Nancy talked a hot game about owning properties and even mentioned that her perceived wealth was automatically her husband's when they get married. She really did sound desperate. And I know some men would have taken advantage of that and milked the situation. But, but, but Bartiz said no to her and all the submissive vibe she gave to him. Now, this doesn't make Bartiz a hero. It just makes him okay. He's an okay dude not the terrible person the internet is making him to be. Besides, I find Nancy's family exhausting. <laughs> it was a situation of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Now, they didn't exactly raid Bartiz, right? To be good enough for their sister. The mother had that look all through the wedding and the brother was on the edge of his seat just waiting for Bartiz to reject the sister so they could pounce on him. They believe he isn't good enough, yet they wanted him to say yes. And when he did the right thing and said no, they came at him and said he wasn't good enough. So, if he isn't good enough, why do you want him for your sister? It makes no sense to me. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> Batty said no and Nancy was distraught. Getting to the reunion, she was so hung up on Batty that she couldn't even confront him without crying. Yet she reserved all her energy for Cole, who she shouldn't be talking down to at all. Cole was not her business, but Tease was Nancy's business and she couldn't even confront him. And she did all of that transferring of aggression to someone else. It was so painful to watch. There's also the high school part of policing who Bartiz was with after the show, talking about slim, blonde girl, and all the other girls at the reunion wanted to make a fuss over it. I was so glad Bartiz shut it down. Now, he's entitled to a social and sexual life, and no one gets to police an adult for his decisions or her decision. All right? I do not agree that Batis blindsided Nancy. She simply refused to see the truth. The truth was in front of her. Batis didn't hide it, but she refused to accept it. 
the fact that there are couples who are still together from this show shows that there was the sheer lock of physical attraction and compatibility between um, these couples. In cases where it didn't fit, they all broke up. It's no big deal. It's a reality show. Besides, isn't it a bit strange we would want people to date without any physical knowledge of what the other person looks like? Fall in love with them? Get engaged to them? And get married all in a few weeks? I think six weeks? For real? (laughs) And for that crazy reason you know we want these lab rats to live out our fantasies of love at first sight or what still love without sights i think we should cut the participants some slack and remember just because people get married on the show doesn't mean they are right stop making villains out of those who didn't say yes okay That's the show for today. Thank you for listening. Bye.